You'd think that a world of only diamond blocks would make Minecraft extremely easy. But that's actually not the case. There are no trees, no ores, and not a single animal. But despite that, we're going to see if it's possible to become extremely OP. We're going to check out some amazing structures and then attempt to beat the game. But first of all, I need to find a village. And I need to find one before my hunger runs out. It's not a village, but this could be extremely useful. In fact, there's a village right behind it. Okay, this is very, very useful. I don't see any mobs about in here. Let's mine our way down. This is going to be a very boring process but I have no other way to get down. The first chest, a bit of a letdown. The second chest, however, two golden apples. An emerald, which could be useful for that village. And more emeralds and string. I might as well take this TNT as well. And now it's on to the village, which I believe is going to be my only way to get food. I've just realized another challenge as well. There is no wood anywhere <laughs> in this entire world. So I'm going to have to find a crafting table if I want to use one. And thankfully, this house does have one. Although I, I have no sticks. Unless I can take a dead bush. Oh, I can't place it. Wait, there's sand. Wait, th yeah, but that is a way to get sticks. It didn't work, but that is a way to get sticks. I've also made some bread so we can get eating. And there's one more dead bush here. Don't let me down. Give me the sticks. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? So you know what? I'm just going to steal your wheat, scam this villager by selling him his own produce, and then find another village. This village looks a lot bigger, but I never thought that dead bushes would be the most important thing to me. And there's one in here. Let's grab that, put it on the sand. We finally got sticks, which means I can make an iron pickaxe, mine some of these diamonds, craft some armor because, you know, safety first. And now I can suit up. I'm looking very, very OP indeed. And I'm, I'm afraid, Mr. Gollum, <laughs> I need more iron. And because I don't have a weapon, I'm going to have to use a pickaxe, which means it's taking me forever. He gave me three iron. I can at least make one bucket. And there's another dead bush down here. Look at this. It gave me another stick. Now that I've stopped being blind, I've realized there's actually dead bushes everywhere. Let's break both of these. Two more sticks. That means diamond sword and diamond axe. We are looking very, very good indeed. I'm also going to steal some of their items. I mean, wheat, thanks. I guess it's kind of good. And day one has been very, very successful. Will this Fletcher sell arrows? He will. I think we buy those now because I don't know when I'll next get a chance to buy some. And here, have more wheat. Yeah, it's it's completely original. Oh my goodness. Wait, why is there a dead animal here? What on earth? How did he die? And there's wool. I didn't think we'd be able to get wool. And now this sheep's wandering off. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry, farmer. I've let you sheep. But here, have some, some of the mutton. I, I don't need it. And so the quest for sticks continues. I also feel like I kind of blend into the floor. Another temple. We need a notch apple. We've surely got to find one in this video. There's a few things in here, eh? Well, <laughs> you met the wrong guy. Oh, and Enderman. I can actually use him. Can't use a boat, so I'm going to have to do it, you know, the, the way that Minecraft intended for you to take out Enderman. Did we get a pearl? No, we didn't. Let's dig down here. I'd like more iron, I think. More TNT may come in handy. Okay, we got diamonds. <laughs> Why? Why am I, like, happy to find diamonds? There's diamonds everywhere. More golden apples and iron, though. That is a lot more useful. We did it! Wait, we got another job. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get one this fast. Don't mind if I do. This was an extremely good temple. And this is something quite rare. Stone. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but let's grab some just in case. Look at that. We got the Stone Age enchantment. <laughs> Full diamond armor before the Stone Age enchantment. At this point, is there even any point visiting more temples? Instead, I might as well craft a couple of buckets. Grab a bit of water and also a bucket of lava and coal. That's actually super rare. I know rare items when I see them. And diamond blocks aren't one. Oh, hold on a second. Let's get rid of this. Wait, I've got to do this carefully here. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Perfect. And I must know, where are all the villages? I need more sticks. I'm actually getting sick to death of seeing desert temples. Okay, maybe I'm not sick to death of desert temples. What are the chances? A channeling book and a channeling book. I really want to mine more obsidian, but until I get sticks, I can't do that. Desert temple number 1758. Oh no, I didn't sleep in time and now... Oh, there's just monsters everywhere. Actually, that's the way to get sticks. I could just keep taking out witches and they sometimes drop them. Finally. Finally a village. And is it true? The legendary dead bush. I'm telling you, if this doesn't drop sticks, I am not going to be happy. It drops. Thank goodness for that. Now I can make a diamond pickaxe. There's a couple more here. Surely these will drop. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I'm just out here farming sticks. Okay, we've got a lot. You know what? This is it. This is, this is it. It's not... It's not letting me down now. Let's make a bow, a shovel. We have grass blocks. I wonder why animals didn't spawn here. Probably because we are technically in a desert. <laughs> animals don't spawn in deserts. I think it'd be a good idea to grab a bit more food and then craft a furnace. Smelt some stone in the furnace. And then I can craft a blast furnace. Collect more emeralds. And I also need iron. And I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to go searching for more desert temples. Aha, there's one up ahead. Also, gravel could be useful. That's actually quite rare. And at these temples, I can get more iron. That's where I've just been. And that's where we're going. I hear mobs in this one. I think... Is that a village up here as well? Okay, this is a proper ambush. I need to deal with this carefully. Get rid of that creeper. Don't blow up because you'll end up setting off all the TNT or something. Don't... 
We're all right. Okay. Now getting rid of you is a piece of cake. Let's drop on down here. And thankfully, we did get more iron. And I think I'm ready to check out this village. All right, got them all first on my list. Now, would anybody like to be an armorer? If you would, just step right this way. You, sir. Okay. You are going to be uh, having a great day. First, I need to buy loads of iron leggings. This is going to be very expensive, especially since I have no use for them. Thankfully, there's hay bales everywhere because I need more emeralds. And books. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to find books. This now. This is a game changer. If I need to, I can now make an enchantment table, which is going to be handy, but I'm planning on getting enchantments a better way. More emeralds from you. Thank you very much. I can upgrade you a little bit more. And now it's time to become a farmer. Here you go, sir. More wheat. Let's get rid of all of these barrels. Apparently, there's still some left. <laughs> Let's just make a new fisherman. You... You can be one. And he will buy string off me. Very useful. And also left loads of bones and string down here. Guys, if you like cats, don't watch this. It's just another great way to get string. I'm just kidding. I'm not that desperate for emeralds. Guy just looks like he's contemplating life. What What are you looking? That's it. You snap out of it. Buy another one. Let's do a bit more planting. A little more trading. And now I'm tired of trading, so I'm going looking for another village. Here we have more wheat, more books, more iron, and more emeralds. I realize with a higher end of distance, I can see way more villages. Man, higher end of distance suddenly makes this easy mode. I can see him from miles away. Oh my goodness, you have just sealed your fate. I'm sorry, skeleton. I mean, this is a waste of a temple, but <laughs> it's kind of funny at the same time. Temple over there, village over there, and another village over there. With a mending book? Oh my goodness, they are so rare. But sadly, no iron. I know where I can get iron, though, and that is from you. 45 hay bales, surely that's enough. Also, this is an extremely rare building, and it always has really good loot. And, and you're a cleric. Oh, I can, I can use you. Can I sell you... Yeah, yeah, I have a bit of rotten flesh, mate. And if I upgrade him just enough, there we go, he will now buy my gold off me, and I can get some lapis if I want. Do I want to do enchanting? No, you know what? I'm not going to do any enchanting. It'd be stupid not to take some lapis while I have the chance, though. Let's just take nine pieces. There we go. And bring the brewing stand with me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Well, Mr. Farmer, have I got good news for you? Lots and lots of wheat. We have 32 emeralds. I'm hoping this is going to see me through. Oh, my goodness. This is on the way back. Look how much wheat. It's basically free money. It's a shame I can't use a hoe for all of this. But right now, we're on 1.15. I'll explain why later. I've got nearly three stacks. <laughs> this better be enough. Looks like this temple is literally part of the village. Look at this. Three enchanted books. Depth Strider 3. That's very nice. More iron and emeralds and aqua affinity hope you don't mind i'm just gonna steal a few more books let's get you a bit more hay and at long last my plan is ready for action see now i can buy chain boots for just one emerald what use do i have for them not a lot but it's what he upgrades to that matters he didn't do the trade i wanted but i can still use him you know what this armor's useless yeah you know, you've just been useless to me you know i'm just not happy with you you didn't do the trade I wanted. It's the end of you. Hopefully this villager won't make the same mistake. First we buy a load of helmets. Then we give him loads of iron. And then... <laughs> we exploit him by selling him diamonds. It's worked. And don't worry guys. We have got a lot of diamonds that we can sell. And we have a blacksmith. Anything useful? Alright, this chest just refuses to open. Oh, there we go. Fine. Oh, obsidian. And oak saplings. Wait, that is actually useful. I don't have enough space. So let's go and uh, just give him a load of free diamonds. I get rid of all these crops. So sorry, farmer. Sorry, I've got wheat. No, you want carrots. That's it. I don't feel sorry. We place down a sapling, craft bone meal, bone meal the tree. Come on, it's got to work. We've got wood. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy, does he? Let's give this guy a load more diamonds. And if I pick up this grindstone, give it to one of these villagers, I can then upgrade them a little bit. Although he wants flint to upgrade to the next level. And <laughs> there's not much gravel in this world. So I'm just going to keep scamming this guy with diamonds. And now I can buy some enchanted diamond armor. Not a bad little upgrade. Let's keep collecting wood, mining wheat, selling it to the poor villagers. And I've just noticed this building over here. We know this is a good one. Well, it's got bread. And you know what? Bread is a great thing. Not to mention another brewing stand. Let's just use up these saplings take this grindstone and I think it's about time that I headed to the nether. This looks like as good a place as any to build a portal and of course the fastest way is just going to be to do it like this and then to light it. Thankfully I found this gravel earlier. Got some flint. Let's make some flint and steel. Light the portal. Get some sleep and I also want to use this chance to get more obsidian. I forgot how slow a normal diamond pickaxe is and now I can craft an enchantment table. A bunch of planks which I can turn into bookcases and 18 is the perfect amount. Now let's head to the nether. Also as I said earlier we are in a 1.15 world and that's because Super flats are bugged in 1.16 and later where you don't get stronghold spawning. And to beat the game, we, we need a stronghold. And whilst I'm in the nether, getting nether quartz is going to be the fastest way to get loads of XP. So that very soon we can have some very powerful armor. I've reached a grand total of 41 levels and in the distance I have spotted a fortress. So I'm going to grab a little bit more quartz on the way so that I can then get to level 42. And now let's get those blaze rods. Without falling in lava, of course. Any iron that I find here is also going to be very useful since iron is pretty rare. Blaze has been spotted. In fact, two. Thinking it makes sense to eat the notch apple now, and now I have fire resistance. And that makes you guys completely useless. It's kind of crazy that Blaze go from being one of the hardest mobs to the easiest mobs when you have fire resistance. 
I don't really need those diamonds. <laughs> I'm in a diamond block world. Since I don't have looting, there's really no point me really going for Wither Skulls. This would be my best way to get coal, but <laughs> I don't really need coal. Oh dear. That skeleton, you, you picked a fight with the wrong guys. Wait, are they attacking me now? Are you really angry? Why? I didn't do anything. It was the skeleton. Why are you angry at me? I haven't even found the spawn run already. I've got four blaze rods. And there it is. And I think 13 blaze rods should be enough. Which is just as well since my fire resistance has run out. Let's build our way up and out of here. And this nether brick is now coming in useful. I have to be careful I don't fall in any lava. Because if I do, I won't have my notch apple to save me. Although 11 golden apples, <laughs> they might get me out of trouble. I feel like now I'm on 43 levels, I should aim for 45. And that is 45 levels. Perfect. And here is my portal. Let's head on through. And I think it's now time I focused on the ender pearls. Which means selling a lot of diamonds to you, good sir. What's that? You're a fisherman? Well, not for long, you ain't. As soon as you wake up, you'll be a cleric. In fact, I'm just going to get into your bed. It's also very useful that I can buy more lapis. Let's also get more iron, give you more wheat, and then sell you more diamonds. And that means I can now unlock the pearl trade. And he's offering me glass bottles, you stupid villager. We know what happens to villagers who double cross me like that. I don't know where you're wandering off to, but you can be my new cleric. I'll be back when I can afford more. Thankfully, this desert temple has more emeralds and some iron and gold as well. Decided TNT is nicely that useful. Although it could be a good way to get a lot of diamond blocks. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to light them all and set up a massive chip. I better get out of this uh, firing range. I just realized. <laughs> Not the best place to be in, is it? Yeah, look, it's, it's a nice little chain reaction. And I tell you what, we're getting quite a few diamond blocks. Turns out nearly three stacks of them. Hello, dear cleric. I've come with more gifts. Why do I feel like you've somehow got yourself trapped? Come on, mate. Out you come. That's it. Go and join the others. I feel bad for this guy making him walk so far away to go to work. Glad to say this guy's selling me ender pearls. It's like the old saying goes, if you see a golem, Take him out. What do we have here? A Fletcher. Here, just, just take all my wood. I really hope I don't need that later. Look at all the bread here and lapis. They're all going to come in handy. Free emeralds. Don't mind if I do. Thanks for the extra ender pearls. You can have more diamonds. We really have got a proper economy going. I've decided to leave that village behind and instead make my eyes of ender. See which way we need to go. That way, because I've just realized that once it goes dark, it's going to be extremely easy to find Enderman. Didn't really mean to make him angry. Let's just get him in the boat. And we didn't get a pearl. Two more have been spotted. And they're both very nicely sitting in the boat. <laughs> but still no Ender pearl. My calculations are right. The stronghold is somewhere around that village. Oh my goodness, there's four of you guys? Will you all just leave me alone? I accidentally burnt the boat. I'm sorry, Enderman. This is this is not good. Get out of the lava. Yeah, that's right. Let's just... Uh... Let's just put you let's put you down now. Come on. He's died. A mob drops off or something. Can't get an ender pill to save me life. Finally. There's another one. And that gives me 12 in total. Okay, that's another one. If this guy drops, I'm one well and truly sorted. We still got a lot though. This eye's pointing over there. According to my calculations, I should dig down right here. But first, I think I should get some more iron and finally do some enchanting, which means setting up this little area. First of all, my sword, sharpness four. I'm very happy with that. Efficiency four of my pickaxe, power three. <laughs> That's pretty rubbish. Let's also do some grindstoning. And now the enchantments can just be a bit better. Look at that. Almost full prop four. It's either prop four or prop three. And if I get four more iron, I can make an anvil. Let's also grab some beds. Since I think I can probably go for the one cycle. I've only got five, but you know what? If I can't do it in five beds, I don't deserve to do it. And down we go. And look at that. Straight into the stronghold. Beautiful. If I could find a little bit more iron down here, that would be perfect. Already I found the portal room. Do we just forget the anvil and go for it? It might be worth it. Let's put in the eyes. We just need a couple more. There we go go. I also need to remember to get some obsidian. And now I have an efficiency for pickaxes way faster. And these two chests here. This one has gold. If this has four iron in, it will be amazing. But I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up. No. Although another ender pearl. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So that means these books are pretty useless. Well, mending. Goodbye, old friend. If it will be missed. But let's take down the dragon. Might as well start by ender pearl. Oh, right. I ain't hit a bridge. That's a peasant's job. Let's come over here and place some obsidian. And now I'm going to begin towering up with diamond blocks. I don't think I've ever done this before in the end. Oh no, I forgot the hitboxes on 1.15 are completely bugged. Look, it's glitched and it's up there. And he's already perching. He just did a really weird perch. So it's instead time for plan B where we take them out the old fashioned way. Is he going to come up here? You really think that's a good idea, dragon? Here's what we do. Okay. We shoot this tower. We ender pearl down. Oh, look at that. You just can't teach that. Thankfully, shooting towers is it's kind of my speciality. Just got to shoot this caged one. There we go. And this right here is the final tower. Perfect. I'll tell you what, this power three bow is doing doing a good job, actually. I'm going to go for a bit of a, a one cycle. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Right, this time, I'm, I'm going to make something happen. It's not going to be perfect, but... Oh, look at this. It is, it's going to happen here. Look at that. We managed to use a bit of a... A mixture of everything there. And that was Minecraft beaten on a diamond only world.